This is the unofficial build of Sanage Mod 13 for the Moto G 2013 variant. The ROM is very stable. It is stable enough for daily use and there are not many bugs. But if you're using the dual sim variant, only one sim will work because this ROM is based upon the Google Play Edition firmware which has only one sim. So, so to flash this ROM on your Moto G, you will require root, a custom recovery and three files. If you are using the single sim variant, you will only require two files. But if you are using the dual sim variant, you will need the third file also. That third file is for fixing the network issues. And if you don't flash the third file on the dual sim variant, you will not get any network. So let's start. Power off your phone and open it in recovery mode. To open your mobile in recovery mode, you will first need to open bootloader mode. You can do that by pressing and holding the power button and the volume down button at the same time for around 3 seconds. After you enter the bootloader screen, just press the volume down button once and then the power button. This will open your phone in recovery mode. You first have to install the Cyanogen Mod 13 firmware file. To do that, the steps will be different for each recovery, but you can see the steps for TWRP recovery on my screen. After you are done with flashing the first file, the second file would be only for the dual sim variants. It is the network fix file. And then the third file would be the Google Apps file. It contains all the Google Apps like Google Chrome, Google Camera, Hangouts, etc. When all files are flashed, Reboot your phone and you can enjoy your new Marshmallow ROM. The ROM is actually quite stable. Uh, it doesn't have many bugs. The battery backup has improved a lot and I can see a bit of performance improvement around 5-10% to of performance increase. I will have all the download links in the description box below. And I will also have a full detailed written procedure on my website. And that post will also contain some of the frequently asked questions. So if you have a question, you can first check out my website, then you can comment here. Many of you guys ask me about how to convert to KitKat from Lollipop or restore stock Lollipop ROM on your Moto G. I'm going to write a post about this and this will be up on my website in one or two days. If you like this video, you can click the like button and watch more of these videos on my channel and click the subscribe button if you want some more content like this.